Hey guys, I'm Roy Alexander, the director for Spada, and today I just wanted to talk to you guys um, in the skills corner about an exercise. We're going to talk about the squats. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the squat. We're going to talk about three different kinds of squats really quickly. I just want to talk about the rack position for a front squat and then two variations of the back squat, the high bar and the low bar. Okay? So, what we're going to talk about first today is just setting up for the different squats. So, the very first thing we're going to talk about today is the rack position for a front squat. Now, the reason you do a front squat is because it relates to Olympic lifting. It relates to doing uh, the clean. It relates to doing the jerk. Okay, so that's why we do a front squat. The also nice thing about the front squat is it really hits the quadriceps. Okay, so those are the muscles on the front of your leg, as opposed to a back squat, um, which primarily hits more the glutes and the hamstrings. And then depending on whether you're doing a high bar or a low bar, it'll even change those up a little bit. So right now, we're just gonna talk about the rack position for a front squat, and the front squat, again, is gonna focus on the quads. So when we're getting set up for a front squat, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our hands just outside of shoulder width on the bar, okay? Uh, we're gonna make sure, first of all, the bar is always even. Gonna go uh, about just outside shoulder width apart because when you're on the bar, you don't want your fingers getting crushed on your collarbone, okay? So, fingertips on the bar, we're gonna go in, and then what we're gonna do, and this is where most people make the mistake, they grab the bar, okay? You don't wanna grab a bar because you need to scoop the bar up with your shoulder, okay? So, my deltoid and my collarbone are gonna be raising that bar up. So, fingertips on the bar, we're gonna come around, we're gonna come underneath, and we're going to pick it up, okay? Then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna step back, and then I'm gonna make sure that my elbows stay pretty much parallel with the ground, okay? So, my armpit to my elbow is gonna be nice and parallel to the ground. That's important because where most people fail and they drop the bar is when they start to move down on the squat, what happens is they begin to drop their elbows. And as their elbows start to drop, the bar starts to roll down and eventually falls. So that's one thing we don't want to happen. So we just want to keep that really nice high rack position where I can balance it pretty much on my shoulders. So my hands, you don't have to grip the bar like I said, because your hands don't really do anything in this position at all. So that is setting up for a really good front rack position. Okay? Now, when you do a front squat, the nice thing about it is it keeps your back quite vertical. So, as you can see, if you just want to come over here a little bit, when I go down into the squat, my back is going to stay you know, fairly vertical, straight up and down. Okay, a little bit of an angle. Where as I switch into the back squat, especially the low bar back squat, you're going to see a lot more of an angle starting to take place. So, again, little key points with that rack position, just keep the weight on your shoulder, so you're picking it up with your deltoids, should be on your collarbone, you feel a little bit of pressure on the neck, that's okay. Your fingertips barely on the bar, and the armpit to um, elbow completely parallel with the ground, okay? Now, we're gonna move to the two different positions for the back squat. And like I said, the back squat focuses more on the butt, focuses more on the hamstrings, okay? So, what we're gonna do is focus on those glutes, the hamstrings, we're going to get into position on the bar, and as you can see, the bar is fairly high up on my neck. Okay, it's not so high it's sitting on my neck, but it's just sitting on the very top of the traps. And from here, I do my squat, okay, go down, and I go up. Again, like the front squat, it's staying, you know, fairly vertical still. Okay, I'm not really leaning forward like you're going to see the difference when I get to that low bar back squat. So again, here we are, there, come back up. Okay, so that's the high bar. Now, we're gonna move to a very um, distinct form of uh, squat, which is power lifting, okay? The power lifters tend to use a low bar back squat. It's gonna allow you to use a lot more of the glutes and a lot more of the hamstrings, so you get a lot of posterior chain in there. The bar is gonna sit lower, which again, is gonna allow you to um, really use kind of the thick part of your back as well to help push that weight up. So. Anytime you've ever seen a max um, squat record, like a world record getting, um, uh, getting broken, it's usually always with a low bar back squat. So I'll just show you the different positions. So as I said, this is your high bar. 
your low bar, we're going to roll it down until it just sits on the top of the scapula. Okay? And then what you're going to notice is you're going to notice that my angle significantly changes quite a bit. So when I'm going down, there's a lot more forward lean, and I don't necessarily go as low. On the low bar back squat, you don't actually have to really necessarily break that 90 degrees. You don't have to go below parallel. So we're just going to go down, I'm going to hit parallel, I'm going to come back up. And I keep my elbows up nice and tight here because I don't want to drop my elbows because then the bar will fall down. So from here, sits on the back, raise your elbows up high, I go down, really pushing that weight up, okay? And you're going to get a lot more weight out of, um, out of a squat if you switch to a low bar. So why then would you want to use a high bar? Well, the high bar back squat um, really helps you, especially for those Olympic lifting, right? Um, the reason the crossfitters tend to do a high bar is because it relates a lot more to Olympic lifting. When you're coming out of that front squat position from the clean, okay, um, your back tends to be a lot more vertical. You're not going to be coming out of the clean with your back at a 45 degree angle. So if you are into crossfit or if you're into Olympic lifting, more athletic conditioning, people tend to use the high bar back squat. But if you're really focusing on just maximum weight and just really building strength in the posterior chain, low bar back squat. And if you really want to hit those quads, and again, to relate directly to Olympic lifting, it would be the front bar back squat. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on the kind of different positions of the squat. Um, I'll do another video coming up about the Zerker squat, which is going to be really interesting, and we'll have a lot of fun with that. So until then, I'll see you later.